He's a self-described democratic socialist from Vermont who got his political start as the mayor of Burlington. A long shot then, a bigger long shot now. He's an unlikely presidential candidate taking on the biggest frontrunner the Democratic Party has ever seen. One poll shows him down 60 points. I don't, I don't know that Bernie Sanders can beat Hillary Clinton. You know, you almost have to feel sorry for Bernie. He may not have any chance. That's all going to disappear by the time we get to Iowa. This Bernie mania thing could burn out. She is ahead, George, in it by a long shot. They don't see Bernie Sanders as a real threat. Bernie, like, stop, like, spitting. He's not going to be the nominee. Major structural problems with Bernie Sanders. Clinton crushes him in national polls by more than 40 points. Hillary probably will inevitably be the nominee. Even Democrats admit he may not be their best shot at the White House. He is not going to be the nominee. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders may be gaining a little bit of momentum as he seeks to challenge Hillary Clinton. His views may be gaining traction. Look at Bernie Sanders' rise, tripling his support. The hottest thing in American politics right now is a socialist. That is a rocket ship. I don't think we've seen more enthusiasm for any candidate. Sanders, 35. Senator Bernie Sanders drew a monster crowd. 3,000 in Minneapolis, 5,000 in Burlington. We know what Bernie Sanders wants, and a lot of the Democratic Party, let's be honest, they want it too. This this morning, Clinton is feeling the burn. Throwing a scare into Hillary Clinton's camp. Bernie meant him drawing larger crowds than every candidate running. Possibly as many as 10,000 people. It is real. We're worried about him, sure. It was another full house for Senator Bernie Sanders. He could win Iowa. He could win New Hampshire. And he's chipping away at a statistical tie. He's got 28,000 people in Portland. Sanders is a summer sensation. Roughly 70,000 people lined up. Here in Iowa, Bernie Sanders was was greeted like a rock star. The crowd is really, really swelled. These people are very excited. It's kind of like Woodstock. Clinton dropping below 50%. Clinton's lead now down to single digits. Hillary Clinton has lost a third of her supporters. Sanders has nearly doubled his support. He has an electable agenda. Bernie Sanders beating Clinton in New Hampshire. Sanders gaining 15 points. Once thought to be the longest of long shots with a commanding lead. Bernie Sanders could get elected president. Yeah. Yeah. Hillary Clinton is yeah. feeling the burn. Check by Democratic Socialist Senator Bernie Sanders on fundraising. It was a record-breaking weekend for Bernie Sanders. Who's going to win the Iowa caucus? Bernie. 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 Who do you think the Democratic nominee will be? Sanders. 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 What Bernie Sanders is running against is literally the power structure. Bernie Sanders getting his first endorsement from a member of Congress, Raul Grijalva. He just raised $26 million. He has gotten a million wow. individual donations, and he reached that much earlier than Barack Obama did. Congressman Keith Ellison says he will support Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. No one could predict the huge crowds and the surge of popularity for Bernie Sanders, a man who's been around the block fighting for poor and working class Americans. Who won the debate? Bernie Sanders! Foreign policy, 59%. Bernie Sanders won this debate. Economic issues. Sanders at a whopping 72%. Bernie Sanders won the debate tonight. 75%. Huge margin. He's got the support, the kind of enthusiasm that often counts on caucus night. Sanders is poised to reach another major benchmark. It has now collected more than 2 million contributions. And Sanders has picked up his biggest labor endorsement to date. From the 700,000 member Communications Workers of America, the million member progressive group Democracy for America announced that it too was throwing its support behind the Democratic challenger. 62% of Democrats now say they could see themselves supporting him. A mock election that hasn't been wrong in 40 years declares he, yes, Bernie Sanders will be our next president. He got more contributions, individual donors, than anybody in American history. Bernie Sanders is nipping at Hillary Clinton's heels. Sanders has the heart of the grassroots. Sanders does better against the Republicans than Clinton. Clinton leads Donald Trump by eight points, but Sanders leads him by 13. In New Hampshire, Clinton is ahead of Trump by one point, but Sanders tops him by 19. Breaking news right now, we've got a race, folks. Ted Cruz leads Clinton in both states, while Sanders still beats the Texas senator. Bernie Sanders with his biggest lead yet. Hillary Clinton dancing on Ellen, seemingly without a care in the world. Bernie Sanders is igniting a flame of voter support. There's no doubt that some Bernie Sanders has built something real. He's passed her just down Iowa. Daniel, I, I can't get over your 
your map. Bernie Sanders was purple and the whole country was purple. Make no mistake, he has the momentum right now. Compared to where he was just a few months ago, I mean, clearly people are feeling the burn. Sanders traveled to Birmingham, Alabama, where he addressed an overflow crowd of about 7,000. Wow. That's where he's weak? This is incredible. Well, I would hate to see where Bernie Sanders is strong if I win the Clinton campaign. The momentum continues for Senator Bernie Sanders. Check out this poll, the CNN MUR poll. Bernie Sanders up 27 points. With 13 days to go, it's Hillary Clinton's nightmare scenario. There is no way to describe these new New Hampshire numbers other than stunning. People that think that Bernie Sanders yes. is like the easier target right now. Oh, no. Do not sense what 2016 is all about. This is called inevitability coming to bite you in the butt. When we come together as a nation, when we say enough is enough when we stand together there is nothing there is nothing there is nothing nothing we cannot accomplish